You're a distraction, a ladies' man. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good morning. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Sun ain't up yet. The dryer's running and the roosters are crowing. We're gonna try to milk Miss Lovey for the first time today. I expect disaster. So, I'm gonna take you along with me out there as much as I can. She gave birth on Saturday, so we're looking at five days after birth roughly after birth. I wanted to start milking on day four, which was yesterday, but we've had two horrible days of rain and thunderstorms. So that translates into mud. Now this girl's never been milked. This is her third baby. She did beautiful, the baby's so beautiful. And she's easy going, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna have success. There's a learning curve here. You know, everybody talks about, oh, it's the easiest cow to milk and all that. That may be true, but somebody had to break that girl in, which is exactly what I'm doing now. Did it with Belle, was very successful, but it's a time process. Think about it. So we're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully we'll have some good success. Maybe not, but we love her and we're gonna do the best we can, so. Prayers. Okay, come in, come on, come on, come on. Put your, put your, put your, put your, Rocky! Harvey, you wanna come with me? What do you think? You think it's gonna work? Maybe? What do y'all think? You think it's gonna happen? I don't know, I just don't know. All right, nothing down here, buddy. Nothing down here. Go talk to your mama and tell her to behave. You think she will? Will mama behave? What do you think? Huh? Oh. Okay, start with, I'm gonna give some hay. I like to give my animals a little bit of something to calm them down before I'm about to do whatever I'm about to do. Kind of calm them down. You know, fill the belly a little bit. So I gotta go down there and get doodilly. We've been calling them little man and doodilly. I know the wind is hitting this. Probably got hay on me. Uh, while I get their feed ready. So, just give her something to munch on, get her a little bit calmed down, you know, throw some chicken scratch, get everybody a little settled in or fed before you start this operation. It really is an operation. If the wife's in the house cooking the biscuits, the man can come out and milk. When you're a one woman show, it's all on you, baby, all on you.
buckaroo. Stop. I'm busy. There we go. Move. Down. <sighs> Hasn't moved a muscle. So far, so good. First time. Things to work on, yes, but she's taking it good. Your mom. <laughs> oh, are you following me around? So guys, it wasn't a disaster at all. This might have been one of the easiest milking sessions I've ever had. Much easier than Belle. I've been locked in the gate by somebody. So here's the deal. So I got about a good gallon. I had about a half gallon and doodilly. I guess that's what we're gonna call him. Uh, came over and actually <laughs> knocked it over. I'm sure you're surprised. The goal is not to collect milk right now to drink it or do anything with it other than feed the chickens. It's simply to acclimate her to being milk. She's. N I find it hard to believe this cow ain't ever been milked. Now I will say her back left teat is a little small. It milks good, but if you were a big old dude, you'd probably just be using your thumb and your forefinger, and that's going to be about it. That's about all my husband can do with that. So, anyway, guys, we have success. The chickens are about to get a big old treat, maybe even Cochise. You can see she's peaceful with everybody. If we can just get through the mud, and maybe, just maybe, very soon, I'll have a really nice milk stanchion. Pray on that. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting us. We love you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So we'll move to two a day milking. And, uh, but right now, like I said, we're figuring her out, letting her figure us out. She started to let down a little bit at the end. I could milk her, but she, you know, you want her to be relaxed and to know she's okay. The baby's gonna have to come out of the gate, out of the shed, obviously, because he's a distraction. But I wanted her to be completely at ease and to know there's no intent, you know, there's no danger, there's nothing going on here, and just to let her relax. That's the goal. Okay, we stripped her down. We're moving in. We'll see you on the next video, y'all.